I'm Carl Anthony, and welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information to connect engineers, scientists, and automotive industry experts across the globe. Today, we are speaking with Philip Goons, the CEO of Xenomatics. He is a longtime member of the AutoSense family. And Philip, welcome back, and good to see you again. Likewise, Carl. Always happy to talk to you. So I see that you have your AutoSense 5 pen on your jacket. I noticed that right away. Yeah, we participated uh, from day one. Uh, so this was a pin for the fifth edition already two years ago. So I'm happy to see the conference keeps going. Right. So, Philip, uh, I know that uh, you have a lot of friends here in the AutoSense community, but AutoSense is growing and expanding. We have new people coming to the conference every year. So give us an overview of Xenomatics for some of our viewers who may be meeting you for the first time. Tell us a little bit about the company and let's start there. Uh, Xenomatics is a true solid state LiDAR company. Uh, we are actually the inventor of what we call multi-beam uh, LiDAR. So our invention is to eliminate all scanning mechanisms uh, from LiDAR and to replace that by the simultaneous emission of tens of thousands of uh, laser beams uh, all at the same time. Uh, in this way, our LiDAR works in global shutter without moving parts, making it true solid state. Now, Philip, from your perspective, what are some of the biggest trends in the LiDAR market right now? And how has the LiDAR market been evolving? Uh, first of all, we see that uh, automotive companies have been struggling really hard uh, to get their production line going. Uh, let's face it, uh, we cannot say it's all good news uh, today. Uh, there has been a little bit of uh, crisis in, in automotive, uh, mainly because of supply issues. Uh, as a result, the attention of our customers was on um, struggling with, uh, with their supply chain and less on uh, innovation. Things have slowed down, uh, have slowed down, let's face it. But um, at the same time, we also see very positive trends and um, slowing down means people got time to reflect. And uh, we see that uh, more and more parties are now thinking about their next generation LIDARs. Their earlier experience is often based on uh, mechanical or semi-mechanical uh, systems. And now they're uh, starting to think about uh, the uh, generation two and three and so on. Uh, and that's where uh, true solid state comes in. Right. So, Philip, let's start with Zenotrack. And I'll just read a brief description here for our viewers, and then I'll let you take it from there. But Zenotrack is a solid state road profile LIDAR that can identify road conditions and geometry and small and nearly invisible objects. So, you've announced your latest version of Zenotrack. Philip, tell us about Zenotrack. Actually, Xenotrack is the product that we used to prove uh, how multi-beam is working. And we did this originally uh, to digitize roads uh, for creating a flying carpet experience. Uh, digitizing a road was a way uh, to compensate for all unevenness uh, with using an active suspension. Um, that's what we started doing in 2013. And so our cup of tea. And now uh, we started using that also to do quality inspection on roads. Uh, a few months ago, we announced a new version of Xenotrack, indeed, uh, making a big step forward in terms of performance. Uh, to give you a hint, the previous uh, Xenotrack um, emitted 3,000 laser beams. We are now moving up to 29,000 laser beams, so resulting in very high density uh, maps of the road, uh, revealing every little um, defect and every little detail which is important for governments and municipalities to have that information. Uh, that data is very powerful, Philip. Uh, it is. Um, a lot of many, money is spent on maintaining roads. Huh? The earlier you do the maintenance, um, the cheaper um, the total cost of lifetime of the road is. And complementing now Zenotrack, there's also Zeno LiDAR X, which is on the banner behind you. Of course, Zeno LiDAR X has no moving parts. That can be utilized for autonomous and industrial applications. Philip, tell our viewers a little bit about Zeno LiDAR X then. Correct. The difference between both product lines is actually the range. Eh? While Xenotrack is focusing uh, on the road, on uh, shorter range applications, our Xenolider technology uh, is much more oriented towards, uh, long, towards longer distances. Um, 
at some point, the two will come together. And that's another unique selling point. If we put the lighters in a car, of course, they will also have Xenotrack um, capabilities. And every single car that has our lighter will continuously be monitoring the quality of the roads. And that, that's uh, how the technology will, uh, will evolve. In terms of uh, Xen LiDAR, also that technology is progressing. Uh, together with uh, our tier one partners, uh, we are further uh, pushing uh, the performance. We are further, uh, further reducing uh, the cost and the size. And when it comes to your partnerships, Philip, let's talk about some of the partnerships that you have for the purpose of developing new LiDAR solutions. Um, tell us who your partners are and, and some, of the, some of the projects and work that you're doing with them. Uh, a LiDAR is just a piece of technology. It still has to be fitted in a car. Uh, yes. uh, Xenomatics, we are the uh, optoelectronics uh, specialists. We like to work with uh, tier one companies uh, that have good knowledge on how to industrializing this, how to uh, integrating it in vehicles. Uh, we are working together with a uh, headlight manufacturer uh, on a headlight integrated uh, LiDAR module, something that has been showcased and that will also be showcased in, in Brussels. Um, we are uh, working on a windshield integration uh, and a collaboration that is well known is the one with uh, Marelli. Uh, Marelli has recently uh, been uh, showing uh, the result of the collaboration with Xenomatic on, uh, on several occasions already. All right. And I can remember, Philip, in past interviews, we've talked about you know, that people, and these, these are your words, not, not mine, but allow me just to, to quote you here for a second, that people want to have beautiful cars, they want to have beautiful SUVs, they don't want all of the distraction. And so you have to make a small form factor in order for that to work. Now, I'm glad you remember, eh? let's not forget the essence here, we still want to sell product uh, to consumers, so it all has to look good, uh, the technology is to be hidden, so uh, trying to hide what we do is uh, keeping us very busy. Now, in November of 2021, the International Road Federation awarded Xenomatics the Global Road Achievement Award for your 6D road scanning and surveying solutions, which was exciting news. Philip, let's talk about your 6D road scanning. We may have touched on it a little bit, but let's go more in depth. One, congratulations on the award, and then tell us about the 6D road scanning and, and what you're bringing to market there. Yeah. Uh, building roads is a very mature market. Eh? Roads have been built since the Romans. Uh, so um, we are the new kid on the block here, clearly. Yeah? Yes. Um, the International Road Federation uh, brings together a, a lot of the players in that market. And last year in uh, Dubai at their um, two yearly conference, uh, we indeed won this innovation award. And it brings me a lot of joy to be re rewarded by a knowledgeable community. Yeah. They appreciated very much that indeed our multi-beam approach makes road inspection uh, very, very efficient. It, it gives uh, a faster uh, quantification and also a cheaper quantification of a set of uh, well-known road characteristics. So again, it's not just about the slider technology, but also about the application layer we put on top of it. Uh, we translate an, uh, a point cloud actually into a maintenance plan for the road. And that's the level of uh, uh, solution our customers are looking for. Now, Philip, uh, I remember from prior interviews and, and just writing about Xenomatics as I have in the past that you also offer comprehensive engineering services for your customers as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, there are several nice examples. One I can refer to is a um, customer in, with an off-road application um, big trucks uh, uh, driving in uh, uh, mining um, where a number of um, hazards have to be monitored. Yes. Um, and also here, uh, LiDAR does a good job. Um, together with that customer, uh, we've been working on a very specific integration and also a very specific uh, application software to do uh, the right type of uh, detection. So indeed, uh, there are uh, several such uh, examples of customization. I want to encourage all of our viewers to visit the Xenomatics website to learn more. Philippa, in the meantime, just before we uh, conclude our interview, uh, tell us what Xenomatics will be focused on between now and the end of the year. What's kind of on your schedule coming up? Um, a lot of the intention goes to uh, this road scanning. Um, again, we feel that... Uh, it, things start to normalize in automotive, uh, but uh, still uh, some catch up has to be done. And with uh, the new Xenotrack 
product uh, just uh, announced, uh, we have a lot of work uh, in that part of the market. So that, that will be our uh, number one target. Of course, Philip, I'll be excited to catch up with you in Brussels. Uh, thank you for your time and sharing your expertise and thought leadership. Again, congratulations on the award from the International Road Federation. Well-deserved. Thank you for being with us, and I look forward to seeing you in Brussels. Uh, likewise, Carl. Thank you very much. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our AutoSense YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. For more information on our world-class events and technical training, visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. Ahead of meeting in Brussels and on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. Thank you.